Hello, Darklings of Darkness here, and today we're talking Dragon Ball Super episode 39. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna start this out. There have been spoilers, I have been hiding these because I don't like sending out spoilers. I hate spoilers, I'm not that kind of... But I watch videos and spoilers are thrown out there. Oh, let's check out this one video, it's something about Hit and Goku. Oh, oh, oh that, that happens, oh. Series is ruined. <laughs> that's what I hate. Um, that's why I didn't, didn't want to uh, tell you guys these spoilers. So, there's been spoilers. First off, Goku does win. <laughs> or, Universe 7 does win. I said this one before. Now, Goku. He, in episode 39, it is Goku versus Hitch. Goku, it, at the end, basically, Goku goes into Super Saiyan Blue form. And takes on Hit. Hit said, um, he, they're battling and all that. Uh, Goku's actually kind of, and the fact that he's predicting the point one second of Hit, I got a sneeze coming. <coughs> <laughs> um, so basically, Hit and Goku are kind of angrily match. Um, all of a sudden you see Hit just, uh, he's trying to hit Goku. Basically, and in this process, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this situated. I didn't like to just quit of you. Okay. So, in this process, Hit eventually sits there and does what Go Goku's process, his way, his trump card he usually does, trains himself instantly. <clears throat> we see Hit, um, look, he starts screaming and like he's powering off. <laughs> I think Kira, uh, Kira Toriyama did this just for jokes. Um, after he's done, Goku looks at, looks at Hit and goes, You scream when you power up too? Which, <laughs> I think that's just a little joke. But, um, Hit is then... We, I immediately thought, oh, Hit wasn't using his full power before. Now he is. But his power level didn't change. He was still had nothing for power. All of a sudden, Goku's about to hit him, and all of a sudden, just, I don't know, boom. A big purple blast from the back of Goku. Right out. Hit. Trained himself to 0. 0.2 seconds. Goku was actually hit hard in a vital area. Um, that being done, Hit actually um, told, tells Goku this, and then was like, Oh, finish him off! And Hit's like, Hurry up and get up. You, ha you help me get stronger. Yeah, this is pay my debt. So Goku gets, stands up. Jumps back and spits blood out. Hitting Goku in his head's thinking. No, no. Hits it in their new form. He's standing up wide open, his chest, and all that Goku's staring at him, thinking in his head. Oh, I can only take a few more of those hits. But those few hits will let me get used to this point two seconds. Hit standing there, all of a sudden you see Hit go, You're an idiot. It ain't gonna work. The, you, you're planning on taking some of, my, some of my hits so you can get used to the point two seconds. Your plan's got a flaw. Instantly, we just see hit, jump, use the time leap into Goku, or by Goku, and just non-stop, bunch of punches, kicks, and all that. Ton of them. Did. He then taps back and looks at Goku and goes, it would be useless. I've now trained myself so I can do point five seconds. Which means... He is training himself through this battle. We then see Goku looking at Hit, and he's getting he's getting astonished. He's, Hit looks at the referee. He's like, "Killing's against the rules, right?" It, Bash's like, "Yeah." <laughs> Hit's like, "Well, what do I do?" He's in no condition to surrender. All of a sudden, Goku just stands up. Um, his gloomy kind of look over his eyes, kind of like. Uh, Kind of thing, and yeah, kind of thing, the usual anime thing. Um, then you see him look and smile, the usual Goku that he is, um, portraying Goku. So we then see Goku looking at it and going, I, ah, you think this, this is something I've been hiding? I didn't want to use this because I only want to use it against Beerus, so. Yeah, we're gonna, but I'm going to do this, but it has a 10% chance of working. The other 90% chance, I could die. 
So Goku's literally putting his life on the line to do this. Goku is in Super Saiyan Blue. He then, you see red aura go around his blue aura. Around his hands, his entire body. He then starts screaming again. Um, powering up, all of a sudden he stops. Me, at this point, I'm like, yeah, he looks the same. What, did I just give him that boost that he needed, the double? Cool. I thought it was going to look cool. All of a sudden, boom! He just looks, he, oh, not like instant boom, but he says and goes, Kaioken! Boom! Blue or driven by a big, giant red or, which I think looks cool. Now, taking this in, there was an interview with Akira Toriyama. Akira Toriyama wanted to make the Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan White. He was originally going to make it white, but he changed his mind and put it to blue. I can't remember the exact reason. Now, I, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong on this. Um, Akira Toriyama still does want to include... Super Saiyan White, which, to me, I think about it. Whis and Vados, their hair is pure white. And they mat, they they have control of their, all their abilities. And they can time leap and all that. They, they're perfect. They're, they have everything in control. Now, I think that if Goku and Vegeta do this, instead of them going, it being a uh, form they can go as, I believe the hair will become instantly white and stay white. Therefore, if portraying... They have mastered their key, their ba their battle meditation. That was Star Wars. Um, their battle abilities, not they they're mastered everything. They're they're um in unison. Now, going back to the episode, Goku does this, and all of a sudden, you, we see Goku disappear, appear behind Hit. Hit turns around, and we can't see him teleporting at all. He is literally moving like at the speed of light. At this point, but all of a sudden you see Hit, and then the Goku appears in front of him, he's like, I'm fast. And he hits thinking, and said, oh my fucking god, I couldn't see him, I am screwed. Well, Hit decides to use his point five seconds. All of a sudden, he goes, and Hit, they're, they're literally, in this frozen time, Hit's got the, or using, doing this jump. You see Goku and Hit in this jump, battling out. Next to Goku's landing, Hits and all that, he sits there and goes, and Hit stops, and go, Hit's like, or Goku's like, my power, dude, I'm fast. I, y your time leap is useless. <laughs> Goku then uses this, punches him, and all that. Hits him a few times and realizes, he looks at his key and all that. He's realizing, oh, Super Saiyan Blue is not going to last much longer, so I got to finish this now. <laughs> he then hits, um, hit, and how does he usually end every battle? Kamehameha. Big old blast hits like, oh, hell no. He's getting close and poof. He ends up going into the vast kind of like, it makes it seem like a tunnel, which I think is kind of cool. And Goku appears and they're like, yeah. Episode ends. Then we do see in a preview, we see Hit was not using his full power, which he usually is. Um, He then starts they hit and then knocks Goku unconscious. Now, thanks to spoilers, by the way, spoiler alert, Goku wins, now the Universe 7 wins, Goku somehow wins this. Um, we know Go he's using Kaioken times 10, by the way. Kaioten, Kaioten, Kaioken times 10 plus Super Saiyan Blue, which um, I think is this, um, it did. Obviously it's successful. We know that Goku can go Super uh, Kaioken times 20, he's used against Frieza. Now, I think he's been training so much. I am using, also kind of pulling a little bit off of um, expert games here, like in the description below. Um, that Goku will like can go up to um, Kaioken times fifty, times a hundred, times a hundred fifty. Now I think we see that at the end, but Goku does somehow win. I think Goku is going to stand up after a little bit, like a minute or something, or a little bit. He's gonna look, you know, that kind of. The tired look on him. And he's just gonna go, Kyo, Ken, times like 20. And he's just gonna go, Pah. Now, the fact that, I think the Kyo Ken, now this is saying, this is proving that Goku is beyond, is stronger than um, Vegeta. And Vegeta even says in the episode, 
you're always one step ahead of me, you dick. Um, no, I think that Goku doing this is actually going to push him and make it so, because he had to master his key to do this, otherwise he's gone. Um, so that, he's getting a hold of his key better, which is pushing him closer to the Super Saiyan white. Now, I think this process is actually going to push him in, this, um, going to push Vegeta and Goku up. And they're both going to end up going into Super Saiyan white form later on in the series during the Champa arc. Which, that is confirmed. That's the next arc. Um, now there, when, um, the way I am agreeing with Expert Games on what his theory is right now. Goku is going to have, we're going to have a, a, or a martial arts, 21st martial arts tournament again. Kind of. Um, where they knocked each other, where Goku and Jackie Chun, aka Master Roshi, knocked each other out for a bit. Um, I believe that they're gonna be mass. They're gonna be going, but Hit's gonna get powered up even more, and Goku's gonna be having like Kaioken times twenty plus Super Saiyan Blue. They're gonna go out next. They're just gonna go right on it, and just <laughs> knock each other out. They're gonna go, and because the Universe Seven still has <sighs> the amateur <laughs> Manaka, which I was kind of um, Manaka is an amateur, so. I think it's covered that. Um, it, it's gonna end with Man because Manaka is the last one. Um, at that point, Champa is pissed. He is going to try and he's gonna attempt and kill. He's gonna attempt to kill all the Universe Six. Um, uh, fuck, <laughs> warriors. Sorry, I had to think about that. Um, he then is going. Um, at this point, there is someone from the future who is coming back if that makes any sense um now i believe this is going to be trunks he could be going he could have super saiyan 2 at this point which i think would be a good idea but um bringing back trunks is actually a good idea for future trunks to be exact um he's gonna come back and he's going to stop champa from killing all the universe six warriors now when he when champa is going to kill them um it actually scares all of them including hit who could actually get the fuck out the way so, there's some speculation, there's the spoilers I've been hi hiding, um, so yeah, and that is confirmed that someone from the future is going to be returning. It was in an interview with Akira Toriyama and Toy, um, so, I think Toy, um, so yeah, as the recap for episode 39, um, the way I look at it for episode 30, 40, 41, Probably about 42, maybe two. Um, so yeah, check out Expert Games in the link in the description below. Um, subscribe if you like, enjoyed this video. Let <laughs> my outro sucks. I'm tired. If you enjoyed the video, guys, and that like button's like with your death size. Now, if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I cover all the episodes of that Dragon Ball Z or <laughs> Z Universe Super. Um, starting at episode 33, I started at um. I do gaming videos, I do, I'm a multi-purpose channel, I do a lot of things, I'm going to be eventually doing some skits, hopefully, with a few other YouTubers, um, so yeah, um, just for an update, later on in this, su this summer, at the end of July, I'm going to be going to TatsuCon 2016, I am going to be going as Android 17 and Pyramid Head, so, yeah. I got my ticket, I just gotta get a hotel room, and my me and my friend are probably gonna be going, my friend might be going with me, but I am definitely going, even if I have to sleep in a fucking car, I'm going. So yeah, because I enjoy that, but, um, so if you guys go, um, yeah, if you see me as Android 17 or as Pyramid Head, stop by, say something, say hi, oh, darkness, can I get a picture, uh, can I, don't, no one wants my autograph, give me on a small channel, um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be trying to do another game video here soon. Right. See you guys next time.